How are you enjoying the Bram Stoker Awards weekend? I'm enjoying it very much. I, uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to come out here and kind of hang out with your friends and chat with like-minded peers, uh, good ambiance, you know, there's always good uh, motivation to, um, I, God, I love Portland. Any excuse to come up here is a, is a great reason. I've got some friends up here, so it's, you know, nice chance to get away, especially when the uh, weather is unbearably hot out there in Southern California. Moisey on up here to the City Roses and kind of hang out. I, I used to work for a company up in a Eugene, so I used to travel up here for business uh, pretty periodically, and I yeah, love it to death. I'm looking forward to, you know, meeting authors that I, I admire. I, there's so many great panels uh, to kind of sit in on. I look forward to it for a little bit of selfish reasons. You know, I got a baby at home that's kind of screaming and crying uh, every night, so this is like a chance for peace and quiet. And, to get away from that but uh, yeah as i said any you know any reason to kind of hang out with other horror people it's always a it's a good crowd uh, my anthology entitled uh, after death which is a collection of stories that i gathered up from you know horror writers uh you know real literary writers science fiction writers kind of people from all over the world just on their takes of what may happen after we die and some of them are kind of you know basic exploring tropes of the traditional Christianity views of heaven and hell. I try to get a real uh, a broad base of ideas. So, you know, we have looking at stories of karma, looking at stories of the Viking viewpoint of hell, stories through Valhalla, um, stories of you know, reincarnation, um, uh, you know, Greek lore. Some of them are just you know, kind of more of a the ghostly aftermath or you know, for going towards the white light, but, you know, basically, you know, any, anything goes, but it's, I am, oh, I hate to say that because I have the baby that my writing's on maternity leave and I haven't done anything creative in, a, in the past few months, but, you know, hopefully uh, she's getting on a new schedule, so that kind of allows me to get back onto a new schedule. So I'm about 50,000 words into a, a book that I'm hoping to uh, get completed this year, and hopefully publish next year called uh, Chestnut Bow. And I have uh, several sto short stories coming out this year that I'm very proud of, and they'll be coming out in uh, magazines and anthologies and online zines. And I really feel that any person that is pursuing, you know, really any interest, be it you know for a professional career, an endeavor through the, you know, if it's to make money, business, creative, you really need to join some sort of network or organization of like-minded peers. It's very difficult to be successful when you're isolated in a bubble in anything you do. But when you're around other people that that share your interest, you're you know you're able to solicit feedback, to get different ideas, just you know, in the sake of conversation, um, and that really applies specifically to people who are interested in kind of dark fiction writing. To join a group such as the Horror Writers Association, because it's just such a wonderful network of uh, individuals that personally I've taken advantage of in terms of networking, um, promotional opportunities. Uh, resources. You know, I've gone through the mentorship program uh, with, with HWA. I, I love coming here to this, uh, the award ceremonies, and it's such an honor to receive a, a, a Stoker Award, with, you know, or at least, I'm sorry, a nomination for a Stoker Award because, you know, really in, in the industry, if you followed such things, not that it, you know, has much, you know, bearing on your talent, but it's a nice uh, feather in, in the cap. Gosh, I think it's what, $69 a year to join? That's, you know, really when you think of professional organizations for somebody to join, I mean, that's really a drop in the bucket. And if for anybody who's pursuing writing, if not for the Horror Writers Association, there's so many other writing uh, agencies and organizations out there that one should join just so that you can kind of get different perspectives on what is going on out there in the industry. And the organizations are based off of location, genre, medium, you know, kind of an uh, interest, so. The local chapter, I mean, the biggest benefit, it's, it's so nice to talk to people face-to-face. -face. I mean, we live in the age of social media, and personally, I'm plugged into every social media channel there is out there. My wife teaches university classes on social media. You know, it's, it's fun, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's the, 
you know, it's kind of the avalanche of information and you could, you know, waste the rest of your life just looking at what other people are seeing. But if you kind of tailor the social media to follow the, the right people that seem to know things that are going on, we're able to get industry news. It's wonderful to always have this information at your fingertips, but it never will replace the relationship that you can have bonding from people on one-on-one. -on -one. And you don't have the chance to just kind of throw conversation back and forth as you do, you know, you know sitting there with with a group of other people and especially you know where I live down in a in Southern California so I will commute out there to uh, Los Angeles and uh, just for the chance to talk with other you know local writers and it's a great chance to become friends you know friendly uh, with these people and you know this particular organization with uh, the World Horror Convention it only comes once a year and it's a wonderful three to four days and it's great to kind of have a chance to see everybody but you know, you uh, it's like being in a desert. You just get thirsty the rest of the year and you know, start to kind of wither away with without seeing people. At least that's how it is for me. I really, I love to see people and I love to, to talk and I always, I feel the positive energy that comes from other individuals when they talk about their projects. And when you know, man, this person has so many great things going on, I really feel if they can do it, I can do it, kind of a, a perspective.